And so we enter Black Whelm Cave. Where are all the missing people? Hi. Oh. Now the seals have spikes on their backs. Stunning varieties of enemies in this game. <laughs> Alright, let's do this then. Oh! Ow. Not appreciated. I'm gonna keep trying to use provoke. Just really want to keep using provoke basically to try to get that triggered. Please. Please make provoke a better skill. Flux me, Captain. Alright, so we learned a lesson. Don't attack the distant enemy with that attack, because uh, it might lead to problems where uh, you are surrounded by opponents that explode, which is a bad place to be. Didn't think that went through entirely, I guess. I'm trying to use regular attacks that are non-momentum based on some of the enemies. Just because if you only use momentum- ow, oh, the self-destruct attack. If you only use momentum all the time, then certain other items drop, and... Item drops vary based on what you use, and so on and so forth. Well, that was a bad start for me. Yeah... Uh, let's go ahead and just use our attack. Oh, wow. I forgot, I forget how effective the heal is in this game compared to some of the other ones I've played. Granted, that character has, like, no hit points to begin with, so not allowed to heal. Thank you. Oh, uh, multi-tier floors with over overpasses and everything. That's a cocoon? Huh? That? It's a person wrapped like a cocoon! What the hell happened here? Quick, we need to help whoever's inside. Oh, don't worry, the spider probably already stabbed them and now their ent entrails are being liquefied. Uh, come on, let's get rid of these things, and fast! So are these things not- Are, are we supposed to think these things cocooned it? Because that'd be really strange behavior, uh, for whatever these guys are. Ow! Ow! Momentum not coming fast enough. There we go. There we go. Alright. Well, they're close enough together that I can probably use Sync to chain some attack here. Wait just a little longer. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Pain. Pain. There we go. Wow. Now that is a spike of damage right there. I'm gonna try to get him real quick before he gets a chance to blow up on us. There we go. Figured I'd, figured I'd try to knock him back at that point before it gets worse. So many items! Thanks, you saved my neck. But who are you people? We're passing travelers. We came here to rescue you and the other villagers. I am in your debt, travelers. While I was asleep, my limbs were bound by means of magic. When I awoke, I found I had been brought here. How were you brought here? The monster used magic to restrain me, and then carried me here. Kinda makes you wonder why they have to use webs if they can restrain you with magic. What sort of monster was it? My consciousness was hazy, but I'll never forget the sight of it. It was a small but hideous creature. Was everyone captured? The whole village was empty. Probably. That traveler may well have captured... Uh, have been captured too. Traveler? That's right. He said he was looking for a sprite knight. If he left the village right after that, he's probably alright too. He was, I mean, he's probably alright though. Anyway, you go back to the village and stay hidden. We'll take care of the things here. What strong people you are, unflinching, even when faced with such a fearsome monster. Thank you. I shall leave it in your hands. I hope we can meet again. Let's head further inside. We need to make sure no other people are still being held captive. On we go. Oh, there's a path down here. Oh. Hi. Hello. Gonna back off a second. Oh, attack from behind! Haha! -ha. Oh, there's crowds of you. That's bad news for us. 
Uh, let's try to knock him back real quick. There we go. Just trying to minimize the, their proximity. That didn't really work. That did not really work. Ah, crap. Well, they're all just blowing up. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't, I didn't really accomplish much, did I? And then the fight was over. The end. Because <laughs> everyone's... All of my opponents killed themselves. Fire 2. So we have rank 2 versions of spells, then? So compared to Fire 1, it uses... Double the energy. It's used in completely different combos. This one's using Crimson Flare and Antipode Blast. This one's using Fire Cleave, Delta Force, and Trine Force. Don't have the other components equipped, though, do I? Let's put them in order, just for the sake of it. Oh. Right, Reginald Leaf has to be down here. There we go. Don't have another command for him yet. At least they'll be in order now. On we go. Oh, never mind. Thought this was a dead end. Maybe the other one was a dead end. In fact, it seems to have been... Oh, hey. Look, there's another one! Come on! We need to do something! We'll do something! <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are these guys doing? Guarding the food supply? Whatever it is they're doing, I don't think they're gonna let us through without a fight. Oh, why did we trap ourselves over here instead of staying where we were? This is a terrible defense mechanism. Uh, wait a, just a little longer for momentum. Ow. I'm trying to provoke, damn it. There it is. Alright, you're going to have to cure yourself. Because pain. Fire 2 should be fun. Should I just wait just a moment longer for it to be ready? Ooh, damage. No joke, huh? Alright, so fire 2. Ruin them all. Whoa. Heavy hitter, huh? Ow. Jeez. There's, there's some rapid fire suicide going on around here. Oh, it's over. Well, <laughs> there it goes. Well, it's one less person to heal, at least, I suppose. But damn. I guess if they're just going to suicide everywhere, it makes the fights faster. <laughs> Ugh, that was a close one. I thought I was a goner. Huh? I don't recognize any of your faces. Who are you? Oh. No one of real, any real importance. I'm Kier, and this is my band of adventurers. Alright, don't get carried away. We are passing travelers. We heard the villagers had been kidnapped by a monster, so we came to help. I see. Thank you. I don't know what might have happened if you hadn't shown up. I can't believe that monster waited for the knighthood to be gone before making its move. The knighthood? Yes, the knighthood. The knights led by our beautiful princess. Where are those knights now? They left the village to slay some nearby monsters. So it waited for them to be gone before striking. The monsters are definitely becoming more cunning. As shown, it makes sense because of the ambush that happened outside the village before. It's not like uh, it's not like before at all. Perhaps this can be the theme for my next research project. Still, how do you find this place? A little boy back in the village told us. We didn't ask his name. A little boy? That's strange. I thought all the children were brought here. I suppose one of them must have managed to escape. Unless the boy's behind everything, and the boy's the monster. Whoa! Anyway, you need to get out of here before the monsters get here. We'll handle the rest. I spent all my time in the village studying old texts, you see, so I'm hopeless at fighting. So thanks, I'll leave it to you. See you later. Unless you die, I guess. Well, good luck. Well, we found him up here, so I guess I'll head back and see what was to the north. Back at the previous spot. Because I don't know. Also... Uh, let's do a little tech healing. There we go. All better. Even though they're gonna level up soon anyway, but... We shouldn't start the next fight with one hit point. <laughs> oh, hey. Fellowship Oath. And nothing else. Alright. Are you ready to join the Fellowship of the Ring? 
Momentary boost and support boost. One support slot. Not a, doesn't seem like a super noteworthy item. I imagine over time, though, we'll be slowly rotating out these uh, talismans to add more and more flex bonuses to our existing skills. Although keeping flex bonuses around might be slightly harder if stuff happens like this uh, fire too. Hey, turn around. Just because if, if we're going to be replacing our skills with more powerful versions of the same skills, then I might find less reason to stick around with certain ones. Fire 2 time! One shot them all! Didn't happen. Alright. I was just slightly too slow on the menu usage there, wasn't I? Oh crap, they're still alive? Oh, they just automatically self they just automatically self destruct at zero hit points regardless, never mind. The pain. The pain is ours. Ow. Yeah, don't really want Setsuna being that weak at the beginning of a fight. Only 40 hit points lost on neither of those is fine, I think. Hi there. Horse Oak Mushroom. I don't really want to... <laughs> does, does the mushroom look like a little horse? Is that what we're getting at? I'd, I'd be alarmed. Quick, while they're looking away, what is that? What's that nightmare monster over there? I don't like it. It's a Woot Hoot. <laughs> Get your Woot Hoots out of here. Why can't I select my other character? Oh, he's a boulder. <laughs> I guess that would explain that. Destroy. Obviously, I'm destroying my supply of energy right now by using all these attacks on my, uh... Spellcaster. I think he's gonna I think he's gonna level up though. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so those two are healthy now. So many items. So many items. Um everyone has full health. Everyone's full energy. Setsuna is the only kind of uh exception because she is sitting at reduced energy from all the healing we've been doing. Might be a good time to swat, swat uh, switch some party members out. Just to keep the leveling a little equal. Now they're only 15 and 16. Good, let them go a little more ahead before we start switching into Terna. And, well, maybe we'll switch to Terna for Kier. Probably not Niter, right? Him being tanky and strong is probably a good idea. Here we go. Give her a chance to catch up a little bit. Boop. A little crossfade into being a completely different human being. Whoa. Hi. Over there! I can see another one! Just wait there, I'll, we'll save ya. Who's your big boy? That's a big nasty one. Alright, uh... Nope. Unfortunately no team attacks with these characters. I'd have to switch in... Pretty much, it'd have to, it'd have to be... Uh... Yeah, Ender would have to be paired with either Niter or... Eterna. Nobody else really has one right now. Let's, uh, try to pull them together, maybe? For the follow-up. They do split up fast, though. There we go. Going for that line attack. That's actually very weak. Whoops. Um, that's not where I want you to be. At all. Try to pull them all towards the big guy again. And we'll aerial strike him before anyone gets to move. There we go. Oh, he's still moving around. One down. Oh, here comes the boom. Oh, you are just moving right up in the middle of the group, aren't you? Alright, fine. Here comes the boom, right? I'll just accept it at this point. Hey, you missed you missed uh the vulnerable character, so that's that's lucky for me. Are you from the Nighthold? Nighthood? Nighthood? <laughs> no, it appears not. You're so brave. I was just sure you were from the Nighthood. No, we're just travelers. 
We ended up coming here to help you purely purely by chance. Well, even it was if it was by chance, I am very grateful for you to, to having rescued me. Are you injured? No, I'm not injured. I think maybe those monsters were keeping us as food reserves. They didn't lay a finger on us, except for all the parts where they touched us with the fingers. Uh, if that's true, they, uh, these must be pretty intelligent monsters. I can hardly believe it. I always dreamed of joining the knighthood, and I keep myself well trained, but I didn't stand a chance against these monsters. It was so frustrating. Aren't you like 12? Anyway, I won't get in your way any further. There's no need to worry, I can get back by myself. You certainly got guts, miss. Just what you'd ex uh, just what you'd expect from an aspiring knight, eh? Huh? If you come back to our village, you, could, you should ask uh, after the knighthood. Their leader is an amazing woman. Anyway, take care. I wonder if we're gonna find. I wonder if this uh, knighthood character is gonna turn out to be our sixth party member or something. Think that's all of them? Who knows? We still don't seem to have reached the deepest part of this cave. Some base they've got here. I wish our village was this secure. Let's keep going. Well, if you hollow out this whole cave and kill everything, then uh, it could be your new village. Haha. <laughs> If you like slipping on ice, lamp wart. Hey! That probably means we're about to walk into a safe, a uh, boss fight of some kind. That's something to be concerned about. Uh, let's just check on everyone's uh, health, basically. Pancake. I don't have any more food, do I? No. Just throw a few potions around rather than use uh, any more of our energy. Restore a couple characters. See, if we're gonna fight something big, a good person to bring actually is probably uh, Kier, because they can hit with the heaviest spike damage. Then we have a healer and a tank. Seems like a good group if this fight does happen. Seems about right, the right time for a boss fight. Oh, look, it's the kid, probably. Hey, aren't you that boy from the village? What do you mean you're behind everything? I mean, what are you doing here? We told you <laughs> we told you to stay hidden. You weren't brought here after we left the village, were you? Oh dear, I'm so sorry for leaving you alone. You must have been so frightened. Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? You saved everyone. Apparently this was a village of three people. <laughs> I don't know about everyone. There's still more people here. Or are there still more people here? What's wrong, kid? There are more people further inside. Please help them. Where should we go? Stay away from the boy. Huh? What are you talking about? Come on, we need to hurry up and save the others. What's the matter, Ender? You're acting strange. Something bothering you? Something's not right. Not right? When Ender says things like that, he's usually spot on. I can t you can tell you can trust me because there's been a long history of us working together. I showed up ten minutes ago. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Ender, whatever's the matter. Why weren't you captured too? I was just lucky. Yeah, I'm sure that that uh, that's all there is to it. He's only a little kid. These monsters could easily have overlooked him. What is it you're suspicious of, Ender? I mean, what exactly is it you're suggesting about this kid? He's a monster. What? I'm not a monster. Ender, was it? You sure are sharp. I can't believe you saw through this form. You don't mean... You really are. We monsters are no different from humans. If we don't eat, we die. Sorry. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what the whoa? This can't be. How is it possible for a monster like this to exist? I don't know, they're monsters. They use magic and attack from the forest, and we don't know much about them. They can probably do whatever they want, honestly. Come at me, brah. The skill. <laughs> Let's do it in thunder. Just might as well just start the fight off with that one. 
Do I, uh, tech, do, I do fire two or I do, do I wait a bit? Let's wait for the momentum for that one. That can inflict paralysis. See if I get lucky with that. Probably not. At least I'm up in his face. That's something. Not ready for, there we go. There's fire two. Now to ruin him! That was not as effective as I was hoping, honestly. How about lightning? Oh, nope. Completely resistant to lightning damage, as we've learned now. Alright. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of health, at least, so that, that part's good for us. Uh, probably should try to knock him back right now. Oh, probability change. Critical hits happen more easily. Just hit him with directly with fire. And we'll go for uh, curing our damaged party member, Nighter. There we go, all better. Oh, I've been paralyzed in, paral I've been paralyzed in turn, that's not good. Alright, regular attacks it is then. Ow. Well, that's, that's genuinely bad for us. Let's cure him real quick. Then fire. Hit him for all you got. Yeah, that secondary blast is just garbage non-damage. Huh. I think when I get paralyzed, I can't use, uh... I think paralysis stops you from being able to hit be hit with your, uh... I mean, be able, it stops you from being able to use momentum, I think. Uh... Let's go for Sanctity and give see if that does some decent damage. Not really. Let's just use regular fire at this point. Lightning was garbage, so... Oh, so lightning on the weapon was pointless too, then. I'll just attack directly with you. Gotta keep the attacks going. Ow. Poor guy keeps stock stocking up more SP and can't spend any of it. Means I just want to attack as fast as possible with him instead. Keep the attacks going. Zero. Interesting. Interesting. So now he's not taking damage from fire at all. Does he just keep does he just keep building up elemental resistances? There we go. Self-heal on on you. Let's try this again. So the secondary damage works. Now he's and his fire resistance just dropped. Look at me. Attacking my party members more than I'd like you to. Let's go ahead and use an Ether on our teammate. Because he can't cast anymore, and he's one of our sources of damage. Ow, well there goes my ability to use these skills. Come on, fire! Oh, damn. So it has to- I have to use momentum to even hurt him, then. Interesting. So if you don't have momentum, your spells just don't work. That might mean that your lightning might work if I used momentum. I don't know if I used it last time. Oh yeah, this totally works too. You just have to have momentum or you're screwed. So if our if our energy bar is all purpley, then we're useless, basically. So I might as well just attack normally with those characters. Aha! Aha! You dead yet? Mama! That's horrifying. Now it's, oh, it's begging. Hey! Level ups! Shiny black horn. Ooh! Reduced MP consumed on cure, that's fantastic. Oh, and it's rank 2, that's even better. It's just gonna keep getting less expensive. Mama, mean people came. We need to escape, quickly. Wait there. Mama, I'll save you. What should we do, Ender? Let him go. Ender, wait. I don't think that boy is the same as the other monsters. 
Why are you saying underweight? I said let him go. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I've never seen a monster that could shapeshift into a human before. No, that's not what I mean. Can you let me talk to him just for a little while? Maybe you're right. He did seem different from the other monsters. And anyway, it doesn't make any difference either way. We'll still need to finish this here and now. Alright. We better hurry then. We don't want him getting away. Huh. Weird how the dialogue seemed to respond... Am I still taking poison damage? I think I am. It's weird how the dialogue seemed to respond as if I said we're gonna kill him when I said specifically the opposite of that. Oh, you're, oh it's your paralysis. Oh, you're poisoned, aren't you? Oh, one of you might be poisoned. Huh. Where's my poison curing skill? I just have the, I just have the status ailment one. Uh, damn it, I'm forgetting what these symbols mean on these skills. I think Nidor's just paralyzed. I don't know about Cure, though. Is he poisoned? 170 health. Let's see what... Purple? Purple? 164. Okay, so he is, he is damaged. Uh... Gonna have to cure that or it gets worse. Nidor is actually agonizingly close to leveling up. Um... The wrong button? Actually, that would that would work too, but it's fine. There we go. Save established, ready to continue on. Uh, Niter will just recover from his paralysis over time, I think. Either way, it's not as crippling and re requiring of, uh, of mediation as the other skill. Oh. Giant frozen mama. Is she dead? Oh, what if she's dead and he's trying to def he's trying to do all this for her, like, her corpse, did, like, not accepting the death? Either way, it definitely reminds me of creepy elements of, like, the Dark Souls thing with the, uh, the spider lady that can't move. Stay back. Don't come near my mama. What the? You don't mean this is his mother? Well, I mean, it looks just like her, him, but bigger, so probably. But this is a corpse. And one that's been dead for a while. Does he not understand that she's dead? I guess I immediately absorbed the entire scene via the visual storytelling, and now this will now repeat what I said. <laughs> I see. I guess he thought that if he'd brought her human, she'd recover. That's why he kidnapped the whole damn village. Ender, can I try speaking to him? Alright. We'll wait for a moment. A minute. I mean, we defeated him already, so he can't, he's not super dangerous, because we've already defeated him. <laughs> and there's no one else here. Thank you, Ender. It didn't seem like the villagers came to any harm. This boy is different from the other monsters, I'm sure of it. Hey, listen. Your mom's dead. I know that. That's why I brought her food. To try and make her feel better again. No, that's not what death is. Huh? When living things die, time stops for them. They can't talk to you anymore. They can't do anything anymore. What? What are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't get it! Mama was fine until that man attacked her. If only he never came, she would have been fine. Who's the man? The man who came. He attacked us out of nowhere. Mama tried to protect me, and... And it's, it's all his fault. That man. He was so terrifying with his huge scythe. Well, that's, that narrows that down pretty quickly. You don't mean that freak again. So he's not only attacking us, he's attacking monsters too. I mean, isn't, wouldn't that be good news from all perspectives we've had so far? You can't stay here any longer. But Mama is... You know, my mom died when I was little too. So I know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. In fact, I even envy you. Envy me? Why? Well, I don't really remember my mom. Really? I remember Mama. Yes, that's why I envy you. You have all those memories together with her inside of you. Memories? That's right. You always have those memories. She'll always be here. 
As long as you live. As long as I live. So live on. That way, you'll never lose those memories, and your mama will always be with you. Mama. I... Come on. Come with me. We'll leave this cave together. Now what's the plan? Is he gonna rejoin the villagers as a little boy and just pretend not to be a monster? Or what? Just wondering how this wins for him. He seems to be too young to be, uh, on his own. If you leave him on his own, he's just gonna get in trouble. Hello. Lampwort. Back. If he's... I don't know. I mean, he fought our whole team as once, so maybe he's not... Maybe he's capable of defending himself. Hello. Um, why are there monsters here? Have I not been here before, maybe? I wonder. Anyway, lightning time! Murder! Oh, that's a satisfying attack. They're all very dead now. Ow. Ow. And now you blow up on us again. Yay! The fights are over so fast, I'm not sure if I have that much time to even try to res uh, avoid the explosions, really. The good news is two people leveled up, so no real long-term damage. Stone resistance up on Reg and Leaf, and... Lightning has less MP consumed. That's good news. That MP consumption bonus is just spreading like wildfire at the moment. There's the horse oak mushroom. Huh. The enemies respond to even though I didn't, uh... I didn't leave. Kinda thought you had to leave an area for the enemies to come back. So this is the child. This is the monster who attacked our village. Who are you? What impudence. When asking someone's name, etiquette dictates that one must first state one's own. However, in the light of your having captured the monster, I shall overlook this indignity. My name is... Oh. My name is party, mem party member number six. My name is Julian. Wait, are you a boy or a girl? <laughs> I can't tell. And that name didn't really help, actually. <laughs> As head... <laughs> or is it Julian or Julianne? As head of the knighthood, I must demand that you hand that monster over to me. Head of the knighthood? That, village di that villager did mention something about that, didn't he? Then I need to explain no further. Come, hand over the monster. Please, wait. I know this boy kidnapped your villagers, but he isn't an evil monster by any means. We can understand each other. All we need to do is talk to him. What absurdity. Whether he is evil or virtuous is not the issue. His crime of having endangered the people remains unchanged. Wait, please. He doesn't pose any threat. Once it has inflicted harm, it shall already be too late. You understand this, I am sure. If the creature is vanquished now, needless damage can be avoided. You're... You're working together with that man, aren't you? I'm right, aren't I? You can't fool me. Finally, you reveal your true form. Now that you have bared your fangs, I shall consider you a foe, and to my foes I show no mercy. No, stop it. Tetsuna, watch out. Ah, so many options. Stop Julian? You dare oppose me, masked man. <laughs> Very well, then I shall bring death upon you. I can't believe it. What incredible magical energy. You will have an eternity to regret your foolishness in the afterlife. You shall rue the day you ever laid hands upon my people. Alright, so my dialogue had like no Im impact on the scene, did it? You wish to die first then, do you? Our lives aren't all the same. Some are shorter, some are longer. But one person's will to live is just as valuable as another's. Setsna. 
Ludicrous. The monster must be killed. If left alive, it shall only pose a threat to the lives of my people. The seeds of disaster must be cut down the moment they begin to sprout. But sometimes you can solve things by talking. That's why I won't let you harm this boy. Thanks. And then he ran away. Okay. I know not from whence you came, with your soft-hearted ideals. But placing trust in the likes of this monster shall only lead to regret. Humans and monsters cannot coexist. They are incompatible beings. Very well. My fervor has suddenly diminished. It seems that my people are in your debt. I must thank you. If there is anything I can do to help you, I shall do it. We need to cross the ice. I see. A somewhat troublesome task indeed. Each year, there are those who try to cross it, ignorant of its perils, and lose their lives. Very well, I shall assist you. In any case, preparations must be made. First, return to the village, Royberg, and rest yourselves. Well. Problems solved, question mark? It's hard to say at this point whether or not things are going to work out with the boy. He's going to grow up without a parent, and so who knows what out- what- the outcome might be at the end of this, but for now, he's alive, and he's still in his tent. I just said tent because I clicked on tent. <laughs> he's still in his cave, but now he's alone. And he doesn't have food sources, so you gotta wonder what he's gonna get, what he's, what he's gonna do for food sources. But we've met our new party member, Julian, or Julianne. I'll figure that out over time, I suppose. And, uh, that's probably the last one that's gonna fit in the roster, right? Maybe. Anything over six seems like it'd be too many characters for the game. I guess we'll find out.